Toastmaster Ronald Stanley as he presents three pivotal moments of life. <laughs> Madame Toastmaster, fellow members and guests, um, first of all, I am extremely celebratory. <laughs> mild-mannered person. She would also say he's a good husband, a hard worker, family-oriented, and, uh, oh, good-looking. <laughs> <laughs> she would also tell you that Ronald has grew up a lot since she met him at the age of 15. She would say he used to be immature, uh, worldly, uh, easily influenced. Now he has strong convictions that he lives by. And he strives to live a life that's pleasing to them. If Ronald were to share with you some pivotal moments in his life, I believe he would share with you the moment of his relocation. Say relocation. 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 His relationship. Say relationship. 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 And his rebirth. Say rebirth. 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 First, let's deal with his relocation. Ronald was born in Liberia, which is a small country on the west coast of Africa. In the early 1990s, a civil war broke out in which rebels overthrew the federal government and assassinated most of its key leaders. If Ronald were to tell you the story of his relocation, I believe it would sound a little something like this. I want you to imagine being six years old. I want you to imagine waking up in the morning to hear the sound of people running and screaming just outside your bedroom. I want you to imagine your mother frantically busting in your room door as she clutches you by the hand, as she scrapes for food and clothes with her other hand. I want you to imagine hearing the sound of bullets piercing the ear as loud sirens command people to evacuate their homes. I want you to imagine being transported from your own home to a refugee camp where you'll live for six months and being so malnourished that all your mother can do is watch your life hang in the balance. I want you to imagine during this time seeing dead soldiers hanging off the side of their military trucks from a bullet wound to their head. This is the story of Ronald's relocation. Ronald would tell you that during the time of his relocation that he learned the same lesson that David did in Psalms, the 23rd chapter when David wrote, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Ronald would also tell you that during his relocation, he learned as he matriculated through life that no matter what situation you're in, it could always be worse. So not for everything, but in everything, give thanks. Amen. Ronald would also tell you that another significant turning point in his life was when he came into a relationship with a woman at the age of 15. He would tell you that she had a caramel complexion, that she was beautiful, the most beautiful woman he had ever seen in his life. <laughs> he would tell you that she was perfectly shaped in all the right places, <laughs> warm smile, and all the brothers said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> It was through this relationship that God called out to Ronald. Ronald courted this real woman for eight years from the age of 15 all the way to the age of 22. At age 22, they got married. Now they've been married for six years, and he's, he has experienced six years of marriage bliss to Ronald Stan, to, to Crystal Stanley, the woman who is videotaping him right now. <laughs> um, Ronald could now speak and understand what Solomon wrote in the 18th chapter, the 22nd verse of Proverbs, when Solomon wrote, He whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. 
Now, if you really want to know Ronald's most treasured moment, it would have to be his rebirth. Say rebirth. Rebirth. This is the first time that he truly experienced the love of God through Christ Jesus. You see, Ronald suffered from low self-esteem as a teenager. He was a very quiet and a very shy individual. He would often feel alone and rejected by his peers. He was physically bullied during junior high. So this left a gaping cavity in his heart crying out for acceptance. So at the age of 15, Ronald began to search the scriptures. And in them he found a love that covered him like a warm blanket. He found an acceptance that shattered his chains of rejection. And he found a grace like a never-ending river. It was during those moments that Ronald realized that he had never been alone enough for a single moment in his life but that Jesus had been walking with him all that time. It was during those times that Ronald had first heard the call into ministry, and he answered. You have now heard the story of Ronald's relocation, Ronald's relationship, and Ronald's rebirth. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Ronald's family. All right. Relationship, relationship and rebirth. I love that. Right? <laughs> Again, great job. All right. 